Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to install homebrew apps on your Nintendo Wii. Last week I showed you how to install the homebrew channel, so if you haven't done that already, you can click the link below to watch that video before we continue with this one. Also for this tutorial, your Wii must be connected to the internet. And finally, I strongly recommend that you use a Wii Remote without Motion Plus inside. These remotes just don't work with certain homebrew apps. So, if you have any Wii Remote connection problems, try using one which doesn't have Motion Plus built in. And of course, if you need any help with this tutorial, you can ask me or anyone else on my Discord server. The link to that is down below. But now, let's get started, and remember to leave a like on this video if it helped you out. First of all, we're going to download the Homebrew browser from the WeBrew website. I'll put the link to that down below. Just hit download, then save it to your desktop, and then extract it. Now before we do anything else, open up your Wii SD card. And on the root of the SD card, make a new folder and name it to Apps. Once you've done that, open up the Homebrew browser files and look for this Settings XML document. Right click this file and open it with Notepad. Now we're going to change the value of the server from 0 to 1. Once you've done that, click File and then Save. Now we're going to copy this homebrew underscore browser folder to the apps folder on the SD card. Once you've done that, eject the SD card and delete the remaining files from your PC. Over on the Wii, open up the Homebrew channel, and whilst in the Homebrew channel, insert the SD card. The Homebrew browser should now pop up. Now let's load the Homebrew browser. When you open the Homebrew browser for the first time, it will take a few minutes to set itself up, but after that, it should load up. If it runs into any errors during this process, just open the Homebrew browser again. Now that we're in the homebrew browser, press the home button and then select settings. Let's turn the following settings off, rumble and character. Press the home button twice to return to the main homebrew browser page. You can see the icons for apps aren't showing yet. That's because they're still downloading. This shouldn't take very long. At the bottom of the screen, you can see how many icons have finished downloading, as well as the remaining space on your SD card. But now, let's get to the good part, downloading homebrew apps. At the top, you'll see a category for each kind of app. There's demos, emulators, games, media, and utilities. The selection of apps is pretty much endless. There's hundreds of loaders, emulators, games, and so on. But for this video, we're going with something simple. Let's go with Power Check. This app shows you how much battery is left in your controllers. A very simple app. Hit download and the app will begin to install. Once it's finished, press the home button and then select return to loader. And now you should see that the homebrew app you downloaded is now in your homebrew channel. 
Like I said, this app is very simple. It only shows the battery life remaining in your controllers. Now let's go over how to delete the apps you download. All you have to do is open up the Homebrew browser and then select the SD card icon. From here, all you have to do is select the app you want to delete and then hit delete. And that's it, now you know how to install and delete apps from your homebrew channel. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sorrell and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.